Hello, this is a little bit of nerdy research deep dive into the equity scheduling conversion tracking because um, unless I'm missing something, this information equity or you know Squarespace support gives us, it just doesn't make any sense for me. Like how websites work and how they do not work. I do not understand how um, how this could work even in theory and I'll, I'll explain why so um, Here we have a Squarespace website with the equity scheduling inside So the first thing to understand is that although this looks like one website It is not these are two websites. So this is kind of a website inception a website inside a website and we can see that this is something called squarespace.com this is our Squarespace website. And inside this uh, .squarespace.com website, there is app.squarespace-scheduling.com website. So .squarespace.com, uh, squarespace-scheduling.com, different websites. These do not really um, communicate with each other meaning that if I have analytics tracking in one of them, it's only in one of them. So let's say someone lands clicking on a Google ad ad, they click, they come to this website, they do, do a conversion. Uh, that's cool. But this thing here inside our website has no idea that has happened. Mm, or maybe it does. This just doesn't seem to make any sense. So because of this, I have my own tutorial, uh, which are probably you probably looked at in my blog post about a bulletproof way to do this tracking. A lot of folks, you know, hire me to do this. Now, this is hundred percent sure to work. However, I'm interested in if the default method equity is um, recommending if that could work. I don't see how that would be possible, but. I don't know, maybe we'll find out. The reason I'm actually creating this video is because I'm gonna show this video to multiple analytics specialists and maybe together we can get some kind of conclusion. Anyway, okay. So we have a tag assistant here, connected. And we're actually using the tag assistant for both the Squarespace website and the uh, scheduling thing inside of it. So because of that, we can debug using Google Analytics 4. We can debug both of those websites. And this is where you can actually see, hey, uh, these are two different websites. Let's take a look at what is going on here. So I think this is the Squarespace website. Let's take a look. Just refresh and hopefully we'll see that refresh. There is a little bit of a delay in this debug view, which is sometimes uh, a bit annoying. So let's try and do something. Click on. OK, yeah, yeah. Now we can see page view, user engagement, mm, page title, equity testing. So yes, this debug is for the Squarespace website. And I think this second one is for the for the scheduling. So let's take a look. Let's try and refresh this one. <coughs> okay, uh, let's refresh a few times. Okay, page view, scroll user engagement, page view. Can we get the page title? Yes, yeah, schedule appointment. Okay, so as you can see, two different websites. We have we have installed the same Google Analytics for to both of them, but they are the two different websites. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I can debug this window inside window. It would be interesting to see if we could get the data. Anyway, let's try and just book a session here and let's see if we can get something okay let's complete 
the appointment and see if we get any conversion data. Okay, view. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get a page view. I don't seem to be getting, uh, I'm not sure what's the difference between a view and a page view. Hmm. Okay, event equity forms. Okay, maybe this is the conversion that's going on. Event, okay, equity forms, perfect. Uh, a view, interesting name for the event. So apparently, we should be getting this view event. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's cancel this appointment. Let's take a look at this other one. Let's see if we can get the view here as well. So let's wait until this comes back online, this Squarespace website debugging thing. So we were in the equity window, now we are in the Squarespace window. Okay, cool. Let's make sure we get a few. We should be getting some link clicks and page views. Okay, well, the title is correct, so okay. Let's see, let's, okay, yeah, now we got those user engagements, which were the clicks. Okay, let's, let's go then. Let's see if we can get the view showing up. Hmm. It would be interesting because Google Analytics 4 is event-based tracking system, whether that would somehow solve this problem, but uh, there has to be some way where a session is kind of, you know, where the Google Analytics will recognize that, hey, this is the same person doing this stuff. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm not seeing the views here which um, leads me to the conclusion that there doesn't seem to be any kind of smart logic where Squarespace kind of would be automatically sending the information from the child window into the parent window and doing some smart stuff like sending the event from the parent window, which is what uh, what my you know tutorial does so i was thinking maybe squarespace does this automatically but it doesn't seem like that's the case however this is um a little bit tricky okay let's take a look at something else so uh, again in the squarespace website we are using the google analytics debugger uh, chrome extension so we are getting Anything that's sent to Google Analytics, we can see here on the console. Let's clear that out. And well, actually, let's refresh to see what, what has been said. Okay. Uh, init consent, some okay, set. Page view is being sent. Um, some other basic stuff. Okay, let's see if we. book an appointment and now we are inside Squarespace so this is happening in uh, kind of the child window duplicate container installation abandoned that is interesting I do not see I don't see information sent to Google Analytics about the conversion here and this seems kind of like a error message Multiple installations of Google Tag Manager. Hmm. Let's see. 
let's see what happens if we um, if we remove the Google Analytics from from the Squarespace. I don't know. Well, then the analytics debugger can't it can't see any information well let's just make sure hmm interesting still it's still getting some information which is kind of weird uh, I wonder if it's getting it from the child thing let's take a look So that is pretty interesting. Okay, at least the Google Analytics debugger is getting uh, the events. I guess that's how a console works, perhaps. Let's see. with this messy HTML thing here. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to wait for the actual data to be gathered here in analytics. And maybe that will give us, get us a little bit closer to uh, the conclusion about what is going on in here. Not sure. Well, I'll have to consult some analytics specialist. This just seem complex, messy, weird, mm, and I, I'm just like, if I would do this implementation, I would have no confidence whatsoever that it's definitely gonna work. Uh, yeah. If you have any thoughts on this, let me.